Hello everyone, Simon here with a review of P-Toon's Party. P-Toon's Party is a micro game and mini game collection that's available on PlayStation 4 and PC. It's aimed squarely at the young children's audience and reminds me very much of the Mario Party series if you've played that series on Nintendo before. The reason why I say that is that across the 28 mini games that are available, they pair down into three different board games, which is the main experience and the main mode that you want to play this on. You can play up to four players locally, there is no online, which is kind of makes sense because these types of games experiences work best at a local level. And you essentially choose your board game and off and away you go. You roll your dice with the P2 that you've selected and you'll land on a different space. And that may either trigger a new mini game, it might trigger uh, you winning stars, losing stars, moving forward or back a space depending on what you're up to and what you're doing. After everyone's had a go, a mini game is then played. And of the 28 that are available, they kind of fit into 9 or 10 different games with variations on a theme. So you'll have one where you need to keep holding like a juggling tower of uh, like honey pots and stuff to try and collect that and build it up so that it hits the washing line. There might be the musical band one, which is very similar to just a rhythm game. You've got one where you're in a spinning cake or a spinning fruit salad and then you will, different um, objects will drop away and you have to be on the right one to kind of keep yourself going. There's another one where you have to pop different um, ingredients into your spell pot and the ingredients are thrown on by toads on the outside. And then the variation of that is that um, on other ones you need to like collect frogs and then throw them across the river into the right pen. Each one has different controls, but they are always just usually using the left stick to move and then there's like a trigger button to throw or push or drop a bomb or something like that. And usually like a secondary one to put off someone around you, which usually revolves around kicking them so that they fall over or pushing them so that you can push them off a ledge or into the river, something like that. Some mini games work slightly better than others, but in general they've all got quite woolly and fuzzy controls, which works well for a young audience, but sometimes when you're actually playing with someone that knows what they're doing with the controller, it feels a little bit too woolly for its own good. And that especially works uh, against p Party when you're trying to run around a really tight space. Everyone's got a bit of a wong like a wobbly turning circle and then you kind of crash into each other and it gets a little bit messy on occasion. However, the game is bright and colourful, the music is colourful, the characters, although they don't have any handling differences, all look different and have a different name obviously, but outside of that kind of the p theme could have done with a little bit more characterisation. What I really like about the board game aesthetic though is that once you then get to the end of the board game it's not who's got the most stars necessarily that wins immediately. Each board game then ends in a final boss which is what I wasn't expecting and I really liked it and they remind me very much of a ripoff of Donkey Kong uh, where you have to basically climb up the ladders and then drop bombs so that the uh, evil witch boss at the end uh, runs into it loses health. Now, she'll be throwing down minions to try and catch you out as well. It is very easy to win, but I really like the change-up of that aesthetic. And it kind of made me think, ah, oh, I wonder how what else they could have tried to have done here, because that was a really good idea. If you don't want to play the board game versions of it, all the mini games are available for you to then just play randomly. There's Cups, which is where it gives you a selection of mini games back to back and then your stars will continue on, so whoever gets the most stars at the end wins. Or you can just play one at a time and pick and choose whatever you want to do individually from there. There's nothing else particularly to unlock. And what I will say is that because they're variations of a theme, the mini games do start to get repetitive relatively quickly. So p Party is going to be one of those games that works best for you if you play it in short bursts um, and then leave it for a time being and then come back to it. And uh, the other thing that I would say as well is that the rhythm action game seems obscenely difficult compared to every other mini game that's out there because it's throwing all kinds of stuff at you um, in long chains and because of the fluffy controls it feels quite clunky to try and get that right. It can be done obviously but um, when you're considering that the rest of the game is aimed at a really low level bar that seems 
obscenely hard. <laughs> However, did I enjoy my time with P-Toon's Party? Yes, but in short bursts. I think a wider minigame collection, and I'd be really interested in if P-Toon's becomes like a, a banner and an IP, if they do a P-Toon's Party 2, breaking into that like mini game versions of other like retro games and stuff like that because the best ones here are the ones that are inspired by other games the Bomberman one works well the Donkey Kong final boss lady works really well as well um other ones less so but yeah just more of everything would be really really welcome if a sequel was to be made however if you spot this one cheaply pick it up if you've got some friendly whippersnappers that would like to play some fun little mini games Thanks for watching. Bye for now. This channel is just one of my many projects that cover games, music and film. If you enjoy any of these and would consider supporting me to develop further in the future, you can do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash Thank you for your time and for watching the video.